behind me is the new Blackfriars station that's being built on the old Victorian structure and a really good example of a major infrastructure project that is, is, that is being built to last and built with the need to adapt to climate change. Well, one of the key aspects of designing a station like this is future-proofing it uh, for climate change. So the station roof has got uh, 600 square metres of photovoltaic cells uh, producing solar power which will um, provide 50% of the station's power requirement and save about 550 uh, tonnes of carbon dioxide a year. Um, the, the main structure of the, the station uh, is, is designed to accommodate changes in tidal patterns uh, in terms of future models and also um, requirements like grey water recycling in the, in the station design for use on the station and also improved ventilation for a new London Underground station uh, underneath the Thameslink concourse. Some of the extreme weather events that we've seen in recent times has warned us may lead to more flooding, more extreme rainfall, more extremes of temperature like the severe cold weathers, uh, winter weather that we've had over the last couple of years and dry conditions like the two driest springs that we've had on, on record and that we're perhaps enjoying today. But all of this contains a warning, a call to action for all of us uh, to make the changes, to make the adaptation necessary to ensure that our infrastructure is robust and resilient because that is part of what will keep the economy growing. DFT has um, been has secured funds from the Treasury for the most significant programme of rail upgrades in modern history of which this is a significant component and an element of the work that we'll be doing as part of that is of course trying to ensure that the new infrastructure we're building is as resilient as possible in the face of extreme weather events. The DEFRA report is a call to action for everyone that actually we need to uh, factor in the um, risks posed by climate change when we are building new infrastructure. Um, it's, a, it's at a marginal cost to make uh, the changes to uh, design in a new building. Uh, the World Bank estimates that it adds at most 1 to 2 percent of the cost. So really it's a no-brainer um, to adapt um, our infrastructure projects that are being built today. But also uh, it's important that we adapt and retrofit the infrastructure that was built in yesteryear and it can be demonstrated that the savings in the long term of adapting the infrastructure we have uh, really do outweigh uh, the cost of making those changes today.